So when we talk about performance, uh, there is a lot of talk about operational performance and economic performance, but uh, we really have to bring sustainability into it, right? The sustainability performance is most and most company is moving towards a sustainability target in the world, and we are aware of that. There's no looking back from it. So when it comes to the fluids team, uh, sustainability has always been um, one of the key decision makers when uh, in, you know developing our technologies. Uh, we have been aware that uh, we have to um, incorporate better chemicals, alternative chemistry, which are not harmful or hazardous to the environment, such as carcinogens and so on. And uh, this is the reason we have always been developing new technologies as well as um, uh, consolidating our existing technologies to be more sustainable. But uh, now the focus will have to be a lot more on actually measuring and tracking the carbon emission reductions that we are able to bring with this technology. So that's where the most focus will be and establishing a baseline to see how what the baseline is and how much we are able to reduce carbon emissions will help ourselves as well as our customers to reach their uh, net zero targets. So a life cycle assessment approach, yes, it is very important in order for us to be able to deliver, quantify and measure our emission reductions, right? However, saying that we cannot uh, look at just drilling fluids alone, we have to look at it as a holistic approach. So we really need to start from the beginning and this is the reason what we're doing is uh, starting to look at first at the manufacturing processes of our products and drilling fluid systems. So how much energy is consumed in actually producing these products and then delivering them to the well site for use in drilling and completion activities and uh, or even offshore, right? So that is an important element. Then the operations on the rig, of course, but at the end of the assessment, we also want to look at um, the waste that is generated, whether it is in the form of water, solids or, or uh, air, right? So in how much emissions are we producing in, in that section? Then you also need to bring out the transportation part of um, these fluids and chemicals that are associated, right? So overall, it is a very holistic approach. The system boundary needs to be established in order to know again what the baseline is and where we are going. And uh, this way you can get a balanced approach on both performance, sustainability, as well as uh, economics this way. So the focus on sustainability is going to be, in, for drilling fluids, is going to be more on measuring the reduction in carbon footprint, measuring the reduction in biodiversity impact footprint, and also measuring the reduction in uh, wastewater generation, right? These are all three areas that we would be focusing on. And uh, we would also be uh, looking at all sorts of projects, whether it is onshore or offshore. And any project that utilizes aqueous fluid solutions will be evaluated for all these three metrics. And uh, this is how we'll be able to provide uh, the right solution to the customer to be able to meet their own targets as well. Okay. So that is the overall focus that's going to be on drilling fluids, where it brings in the economic value. Economic value in terms of you have um, a reduction in loss circulation cost, uh, you have a reduction in transport cost for oil cuttings or uh, even oil-based mud and base fluids, and also a positive impact on HSC because overall it's going to be a positive impact for the rig personnel handling aqueous fluid solutions over oil-based fluids. So yeah, it's a very exciting journey we are on uh, and uh, for the future of drilling fluids, we are obviously going to address any technical gaps that we have in our aqueous fluids portfolio to be able to bridge those gaps and be able to provide solutions for all types of wells where you get the performance of an oil-based fluid while you also have the environmental accept acceptability of uh, water-based fluid. And uh, overall, again, it is about uh, meeting the targets, the aggressive targets that we have set and our customers have set. And together for the energy industry, we have to accelerate this path down this road. So we are striving to do that and provide our customers again with the best solution possible.